the biohazard banner has been seen at the borders of your state. Once again, Mad Leader Borgo has united numerous bands of roaming mutants and cyborgs created by Milwaukee. You must now ready your people to repel these highly mutated and engineered beings. Will you survive the onslaught? Remember, extinction is the rule, survival the exception. This solo mode is much more complex and difficult than the regular one. The difference is that the Automa actions are not scripted and predictable. Orgo's actions are randomly determined by the draw of a card and the number of brawlers he has. It is efficient and ruthless. Portal Games will soon be shipping 51st State Ultimate Edition. My name is Joe Leone and today I will be demonstrating Orgo Automa, the new solo mode included in the Ultimate Edition. I hope you find this solo mode enjoyable and fulfilling. Let's play 51st State Orgo Automa. To begin playing with Borgo Automa Solo, you need to set up the game. What I've done is I have my playmat, my faction, in this case I'm going to be playing New York, my draw deck, which in this game includes only the base 51st state cards and promo pack 1. I'm using my master set to demonstrate this. So any components may change with the Ultimate uh, Edition. I'm using this as my brawler base, and it's nothing more than the insert from the Arena expansion. So I pop out the Arena, and this becomes my brawler base. I'm going to use a D6 to track the turns. We have the scoreboard. In easy reach. In this case, uh, the white token will represent Borgo, and of course, my gray token will be New York. We have the supply of materials, and I am the first player. And just like in a two player game, we're going to deal out six cards to me, and I get to choose four of them. Ten. I like the fuel tank. It's a production for one contact token. The archive is not a bad one. I think we're going to keep the corner shop and the skyscraper. These two get discarded. This is my beginning hand. The first phase of the game is the lookout phase. We flip over the top two contact cards. We're going to deal out three cards. And since I'm the first player, I will get my first choice. Rubble Trader, Gasoline Cultist, or Armored Car. I'm a big fan of the Armored Card. It's probably my favorite promo. And then, Borgo is going to build one of these two, and it's random. You can either shuffle them up or use the dice to randomize. And he is going to build... The gasoline cultist. Now you'll notice that Borgo does not have a player board. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the order, production, feature, action, so that I know when it comes time to destroy his locations how much it's going to cost me. And then we go to the second lookout, which is again three cards. Borgo gets one randomly. I could probably just take in the top card. But in this case, it is a feature, the church, and I get my choice of these two. So we will take the assassin. That gets discarded. And we're ready to play the game. Now, as a human player, you play the game absolutely normally. You can do, you're going to get your production. You're going to spend resources to build, make deals, res, just like in a Regular game. And so, for example, we're going to send two workers to get the merchants. So, that's my action. I'm done. 
Borgo plays a little differently. Borgo, during the lookout phase, will get one brawler for every turn it is. So it's turn one, he gets one brawler. If you want a particularly challenging game, give him one additional brawler. Now he's going to spend brawlers for certain actions. He's going to gain brawlers for certain actions. There are four different actions that Borgo can take. And it's all determined by the flip of a card. In this case, I'm looking for three very specific symbols. I'm looking for a gun symbol, a gear symbol, or a brick symbol. Those are the three special actions that Borgo can, can do. So, if he draws a gun, he is going to do his attack action. If he does a brick, if he draws a brick, he is going to do a build action. And if he does a gear, then he is going to do uh, use your open production. And if you're playing with an expansion, he will get an expansion action. If you are unlucky enough, to get more than one symbol, he has a particularly clever plan, and he does both of these top to bottom. So in this case, if this was the card that was turned over for his action, he would use his attack action. Then he would use his build action. If he draws none of those symbols, he is going to do a standard action. A standard action is one of two things. If there is a connection card available, he will claim that connection card and gain two victory points. If there is no connection cards, then he will gain one victory point for the cost of a brawler. That's his standard action. If he needs to discard a brawler and there are none, he passes the turn. If you pass, he will pass immediately. So I'm going to play through a couple rounds. Oh. All right, we're in the middle of turn two. It's Borgo's turn. He flips over a card, and it shows a gun. So now what that means is we are going to do Borgo's attack action. First thing he does is he discards a brawler. He is going to flip over a target. So in this case, he is looking for any of the locations in my tableau that give me that match at symbol. As you can see, there is only one, the pub. Now, if there wasn't any, he would just gain one point and it would be over. But since there is a target, he raises the target. So we turn this over and I get... He scores two victory points for destroying that. These go to the discard and... All right, that didn't take very long. We went to this, my turn and I built, changed my ruin into the armored car by spending an ammo token. It's now Borgo's turn. He attacks again. This case, he has no brawlers to discard, so he passes the turn. I'll become the first player next turn. All right, we're into the third turn. I spent two workers to grab a contact card, and Borgo flipped over the shipwreck. The shipwreck has a gear symbol. So what that means is we're going to take his expansion action. In this case, he is going to use one of my open productions. I take one worker from supply, place it there, I get a worker. Unfortunately, Borgo gains another action for this turn only. So, the gear symbol does not cost him any of his brawlers. He's actually using my open production to gain more actions. Very similar to what a human player would do. 
This then gets discarded. If we were playing with an expansion, the specific expansion would require an additional action to occur. Orgo is building. So he turns to do the building action. He turns over the next card and places it in his tableau. Okay, I'm going to spend a worker and two gears to gain three victory points. Orgo. He does a standard action, so he loses a worker and gives it. So it is ending this turn. Okay, we are going to spend two tokens to build an action. The hideout. Orgo is going to build. Orgo builds another wrecked tank. I am going to discard a deal to gain a victory point, and I'm going to do that twice to gain two. Orgo uh, does a standard action, gains a victory point. Okay, we are going to spend a brick to change my assassin into an assassin. Assassin. No, not into an assassin. Yes, into an assassin to go give me a gun. Orgo uses my open production. Okay, I get a worker. He uses the assassin and gains a brawler. Okay, I am going to use the gun to get two tokens. Borgo is going to do a standard action. Gains a victory point. I am going to spend three tokens to raise... I really need a fourth token, but I can't get it. So we just got to raise something. We will raise the arena, and that gives me three guns. Orgo does a standard action. We're going to send two workers to get a gear. Orgo builds. And that's an action. I am going to spend the gear to get a great token. Borgo is going to do a standard action. He has no more workers, so he passes. So I pass, and we go to final scoring. Borgo starts with 29. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I start with 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is 35. No, yep, 35. So Borgo has won this one. I believe I covered all the actions for Borgo. He attacked, he used the standard action. He built, and he used my open production. Uh, I have the rules actually posted on Board Game Geek. Portal has put them out in the updates for 51st State. You can use it, either the Master Set or the Ultimate Edition, which I am really looking forward to. Until next time. I hear the conductor. That means it's time to go. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment. Until next time, have fun training.